So as you know, this site is called Biz Buy Sell. This site right here you might have heard of is called Biz Quest. This is a site you might not have heard of, but it, it is Flippa.com. And then we have one that is nice and new and famous called Acquired.com. So why am I showing you these? Because I have a genius. I have a business buying guru on here with me right now, which is also my partner in the agency to partner program. If you guys don't know what that is, that is this right here, where we will show you how to add an extra 200K to your income per month by without even having to add new clients if you have an agency already. But if you don't, then that's why you want to watch this video. You'll be able to, to uh, practically own a business without ever having to invest in them. And that's the so deal. let me introduce him. This is Curtis. He was one of my students, but now he's way more valuable than that. Once I found out that he had experience in buying and selling businesses, I know I had to bring him along for the ride and he will be way more valuable as an asset in addition to the, the program, which is why we upped the dang on price, right? So with agency to partner guys, Curtis is going to show you how to pull that Cinderella equity. And he's going to explain all of that on this call as well. Out of these local businesses, you can pretty much sell the digital twin without even needing their permission, uh, your portion of it, whatever you own. So you're going to be leveraging these local businesses. They're going to be, you're going to be using their resources and their assets to build up your digital twin of that company. And you'll be able to sell it off or you'll just be able to continue being a business uh, partner of theirs. Or you can use that profit that you get from what you made, leveraging them to just buy out the company completely. There's never before been a way that you can buy businesses without buying businesses like this. So you guys have heard of seller financing, but this is seller financing on steroids with no risk whatsoever. So Curtis, go ahead and give them a little introduction of yourself, just in case they're new to the channel. Hey, uh, hey everyone, uh, Curtis Whip. I am a uh, entrepreneur. I have bought uh, many different businesses over the last, uh, oh, I guess about 18 months or so. And I can tell you that buying businesses the way that uh, we have traditionally bought them is something that you you do not want to do. Uh, you have employed, first of all, you have put out money in some way. If you don't put out money and there's a lot of agencies or a lot of channels that teach you how to buy businesses with no money, well, you still are it's still risky in terms of if anything is high leverage. So if anything goes wrong, if an employee leaves when the, when the owner is no longer involved, as an example, the income goes down, which means that the, the structure of how you were making those payments, you have to scramble. And so you, in this methodology that we teach, there is you take away the, the reason why we call it the Cinderella equity is because it's a fairy tale. It's unbelievable where you can control the business, sell the business or sell your portion of it by creating what we call a digital twin and not have any risk, not have to put down any money, not have to put worry about employees, not have to worry about uh, getting up in the morning and, and uh, regulations and all the taxes and all the implications that go with that terrible customers, terrible customer service, all the implications that go with actually owning a physical business. You don't have to deal with that. And I can tell you, you can get peace of mind when you do not have to deal with that. I know firsthand. Awesome. All right. So, so. The name of this video, guys, and you tell us, uh, give me, give me your honest opinion at the end of this. Tell me how you feel at the end of this. It's called, you'll feel stupid buying a business any other way but this. Now, we heard of seller financing. We heard of you going and getting funded. We heard of SBA, small business loans. A lot of you guys are watching those videos. A lot of you guys are trying to check that out and trying to get approved for funding and all of that. And you're going to have to like old people go in debt and do all of this extra stuff like that. But the way we're going to show you how to buy businesses, if you want to, you know, it's, if you know anything about like crypto, right? Uh, it's something called buy and hold, right? Like you'll buy and hold. Um, you can do that with real estate too, buy and hold, you're right? Um, this is the same way, guys. You can, you can buy and hold, meaning like I know we were talking about selling off the digital twin. That's an option to tell you the truth. If you want to stay and own the business, own these assets, remember, if you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you don't own no assets. If you want to put your name on there and actually be the business owner, agency to partner program is going to show you how to actually be the owner of the business. So it's just taking away one of those steps, which is sales. But the process is the same. When you get in there, you're going to uh, plug into all of their systems. You're going to begin uh, doing analysis on where they at and where they need to be if they were to sell off the business. Right. And what you can do to increase rapidly increase uh, uh, the revenue and the net worth and the valuation of the company to get it ready for an exit. If that business owner that you reach out to decides uh, that they want to still sell. Don't forget that a lot of these people are on these sites selling their businesses, not because they want to. A lot of them don't know what to do. Uh, they got into the business or they bought a business. They can't like they don't know how to get customers. They don't know how to get their operations in order. They don't know how to do any of that. 
So if you ever watch the show, The Prophet with Marcus Lemonis, he goes in and he drops a check down and then he spends the entire episode showing them how to get their uh, standard operating procedures, you know, uh, uh, and, and everything that they need to do in order. He shows them how to be, uh, operate the leanest way that they can, stop overspending on things that they need uh, to do and all of that extra stuff. So this will allow you to actually partake in that. If you're an agency right now and all you have is minimal access to the business owner, if you uh, only have uh, minimal rights uh, as far as creative suggestions with marketing or, or, or processes and stuff that you see them doing things wrong that's hurting them and everything, like how you'll drive leads and, and traffic to them, but they don't even pick up the phone sometimes. Like anything you have a problem with, once you become a partner of these business owners, then you have a say-so. If you think that they're hiring the wrong people, they got a son that they hired on and just because they're family and stuff, but the son might be you want to actually voice that, you understand? And you will be able to partake in the, the, uh, the, the benefits of everything as well. So this is why you want to do it like this, though. As Curtis said, is no risk. You don't have to put any money up front if you don't want to. You never, matter of fact, technically, depending on how fast you want to go, everything is pure leverage. You're going to be leveraging email lists that they already have. You're going to be retargeting those emails. You're going to be reselling to those same emails. You're going to be driving new traffic using the ad budget that that business owner already has. You're going to be doing the SEO for them or having it done for them using the budget that they already have combined with the free marketing courses that's, that's going to come with you joining the membership and agency department. Right? So you're going to be fully equipped. That's what's going to differentiate you from anybody else that's going on this buy, sell, this quest, and flip, and all of these people. You're going to have a full chain to be able to uh, get their valuation up to the uh, maximum capacity to where they can exit at the, at the largest amount that they possibly can in that, in that industry, right? without any risk. So when they sell, if they want to sell still, you participate in the exit. You participate in the exit of a company that you didn't even build. So that's why agency to partner program is so powerful. You can literally just find any company that you see in your in your area. <laughs> Maybe you grew up going to a movie theater or something. You're like, man, I always wanted to own that movie theater, right? And now in the agency to partner program, you'll have the know-how. You'll know exactly what to say. You'll know exactly what to do to start driving more. Like, yo, maybe they like, dang, man, people only come on the weekends. You'll be able to like, all right, so what are we going to do to get them in our Monday through freaking Thursday then? You'll know exactly how to drive up ticket sales and and create this this little celebrity aura around the local business to where people in the area ain't even watching Netflix no more. They stay at the movie theater now. You see what I'm saying? You'll have these superpowers in agency to partner. Um, okay, so Curtis, I don't want to just talk. Let me, let, me, let me just add a couple of things. Um the first is you talked about, um, you know, the, the television show with uh, Marcus and and how he goes in. He still physically remember we're seeing one hour of a what could be a four month process that he still has to work with these people. He yeah. still has to deal with their attitude and mm -hmm. they didn't get there like they are right now because they were doing everything right. So he has to still go in and correct things. He still has to deal with resistance. He still has to deal with staff. And so what you see on television is all the nice parts. You see a little bit of it, you know, where he, where he has to take back his check or something. But for the most part, you're seeing how things kind of go well. And, and he's still spending quite a bit of time there. It's not that he just goes and drops off a check and he says, here's your SOPs, implement them. No, it doesn't work like that because he's, he's dropping off a check for in upwards of a half a million dollars, you know? Oh. And so it doesn't just work like that. We're doing literally almost the same thing in terms of, in, in terms of the benefits, but we're not having to take on the whole notion of all the idiosyncrasies that happen in a physical business because we are going alongside of and creating a digital side of the business in which we are leveraging the physical side and you don't need the owner to do any of that. You don't need the owner to have an attitude about this or that and, and changing how they do their menus and changing how they, no, you don't have to do that. This is yeah. the leverage side of it. So that's, that's the first point. The second point is all of the sites that you showed earlier, those people are selling their business. And what I've come to find out is they're selling their business for a reason. Okay. They're selling their business for a reason. I don't want nobody that's selling their business. So how I'm going to use those sites is I'm going to do research on those sites. So if I want to buy a chiropractor business, I'm going to use the research of all the people who are selling chiropractor businesses, and I'm going to get data so I can understand the person that is number one, number two, number three in the snack pack. I can understand what is going on in their head. I can understand the valuation of the company. I can understand how much that company is basically worth. I can understand how, how, how much traffic that company is getting. I can understand the, the benefits of buying a company, yet I don't want to buy their company. Here's the reason why. Here's what I found. When you buy a small business, you're buying the reputation of the small business owner. Hey, bars. You're not buying Dunkin' Donuts, who has their own reputation, because you don't know who the hell actually owns Dunkin' Donuts. No offense, but you probably know that it's uh, Indian 
that owns Dunkin' Donuts, but you don't know who that family is, right? But you know who bought the local or who the owner is of the local massage therapy place. And when that person leaves, the, the loyalty to that company stays with that person. When that person comes back, the loyalty to that company comes back with that person. And so you're going to lose a measure of money just when you buy the company. Just the fact that the owner has left. I don't want to buy any more companies, no more physical companies. I'll never buy another physical company because we can create a digital twin. We can then, we have four ways of exiting. We can sell that digital twin, our portion of the twin, back to the owner. We can sell it for passive income to investors who are looking for passive income. We can sell it like you just showed on Biz by Sale, LoopNet, uh, BizQuest, Acquire, Flippa, uh, Empire Flippers, um, Guiding Light. There's 10 other places. Even Craigslist you can sell the business on. And it's it, remember, this is mostly passive income. So that means you're not doing, you're not getting up in the morning like the business owner is, the physical business owner. And when the digital twin becomes more valuable than the physical, then you have a digital company, which has a much higher valuation with a, you have a digital company with a physical distribution or fulfillment center. Just like Amazon. Just like Amazon. First says Walmart, who has a physical company and they're in the e-commerce digital business. Amazon is a digital company who have fulfillment in the physical world. Listen, y'all, he just dropped some bombs right there. If I had a sound effect, I would have hit it. It would have been <laughs> in the right? So, like, what, what we have to realize, y'all, is you can buy a business, but you don't have to. Like, if you become, if you build a digital twin from it, like, pay attention to this, right? You're like, oh, well, they're selling the business, so we have to buy it. They can do what they want to do. We're still going to make a crap load of money off the uh, off the digital side, and nothing stops. Like, even if, if, if they cut ties with us, that's what I was saying. Nothing will stop. Like, the 10 monetization methods are still going to be plugged in. We're still going to have access. Like, if they shut down today, their old data doesn't evaporate. We're still going to have access to all of their uh, customer data, past and present. And, and now, because we leverage them to build our digital twin, we're going we're, we're to have control over future. Y- y- y'all understand? And then when we plug into the next uh, local business that's in that area, now we're going to be bringing so much more value to that partnership that we can request a, a larger percentage of that company when we partner with them. Do y'all, do y'all, I hope y'all are, are getting the power of using them, the one that's uh, trying to sell a business, uh, to build a digital twin. And, and this is another thing that Curtis brought up. He said, I don't even really want to buy it. We're just jumping in front of you guys because you are trying to buy. We're not saying that that is the best option, right? right? In agency to partner, we don't really teach you how to go after businesses that are in distress. We teach you to go after businesses that are doing good, right? And partner with them. And the whole part of it being passive and hands off is that that business is doing good, so they're not really even trying to say, right? So if they go ahead. So, so let's let's just say because uh, the, the the all of those become really good fodder for opportunities to partner with people. So I, I won't take away from the fact that they they bec- those sites are research sites, but they also become good um, good opportunities because if a person is doing their due diligence, it's going to take three to six months to actually buy the company. So you could get in and you could go to that business owner and basically say, hey, you know, it's going to take a while to buy this business. I mean, you 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 get in with the broker, you. The broker tells you what the business is. You talk to the owner. You say, look, it's going to take a while for somebody to buy this business. Let's increase the value of it while you are doing that. Let, let's, let, let me show you how we can increase the value of it while you're doing that. And boom, now, you know, now you don't have to buy the business, but you had uh, potential partners that's just sitting there, right? And so you don't even have to, they're already selling their business. All you're trying to do is help them, you know, increase the value of the business while they are waiting for someone to come along and do their due diligence and buy. And the value of it, if they have a digital twin or if they are associated with uh, a digital twin, the value of their business increases dramatically. There's another point that, you know, we, we may not, we may or may not talk about the 10, but there's a point that you talked about that I think is very, very important. And that is the portability the 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 ability to move your digital twin to someone else now let me i I want everybody to follow this because this is going to be a bombshell here when you start a digital twin the 11th 12th and 13th bonus pieces are what's called a we'll call it a digital uh, excuse me an affiliate militia that is the militia is taking advantage of the customers and the assets that's already in the business an army, uh, an affiliate army, the next step up is the affiliate army. Well, that is taking advantage of professional marketers, right? So you have mm-hmm. the militia who is the customers of the business already. You can turn that on day one. Then you build a, an affiliate army to pr- to actually promote the the 
the uh, uh, all of the offers that this business has. All right, so you got the militia and the army. Now we're going to just blow it out the water. Now you have the affiliate United Nations, and what is the affiliate United Nations? That's where you have um, you have the business, and then you have compatible businesses that make products or or offers. Like, let me give you an example. I have a massage therapist. I, I link up with a chiropractor and an acupuncturist, and together we make a package. But they have customers as well. So we are going to actually market to all of those customers. So if everybody has a thousand customers, now we have 3000 customers and all of those become the affiliate United Nations. Now, what happens if that massage therapist says, ah, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. You have all of these customers over here still. What happens if they say, I'm going to. I'm going to cut our, our business ties. Well, you can go to the chiropractor and basically say, look, we've been part of this affiliate nation, United Nation, and let's do it again. Let's go find another massage therapist. Let's go find another acupuncture. And so you've actually, you've taken one client and you've turned them into three or four, just like that. Boom. 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 So what Curtis is talking about is extremely important, y'all, like leverage. You understand? Like, I want y'all to think about leverage. The year 2024, just focus on leverage because nothing is more powerful than that especially when you like when you have partners that are verified when you have partners that are flexible all right and and, and uh what do you call it uh, cooperative and willing and then you combine that with your expertise so guys those of you watching this that are new to the channel that watch cody sanchez and watch all of these other business buying channels we mm -hmm. we, we need y'all to understand that something uh what's unique about what we're offering you is not that you're just buying a business this is a, a duplicatable skill that you're going to have now. So mm -hmm. when a person, when, when they teach you how to, this is the punchline. This is the punchline. This is Francis Ngannou going at Tyson Fury's head. All right. I'm about to hit you with the, with the Deontay Wilder force before he, he lost. You can do this over and over if you wanted to. Since, is your, since what you're building and acquiring is the, the digital side of things, there is no, uh, 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 no time capsule that you're stuck in. So what I mean about that, he just was telling you guys it'll take three to four months to uh, complete the transaction and the transfer of the physical side of buying a business. Mm -hmm. With Agency to Partner program, you're creating a digital twin, right? You don't even have to wait until the business owner sells their side of the business. Let's say um, they want to sell in a year's time. Like how we're going to show you how you're going to increase sales and traffic and recurring customers and all of that extra stuff within a couple of months time, you might be able to exit with the digital side for more than what they'll be able to exit for with the physical side. And the good thing about it is since you're digital, purely digital, you can be working on multiple business projects at the same time. There's literally right. no cap for this. So you can be working with an old skating rink. You can be working with the local diner. You can be uh, working with a chiropractor. You can be working with a plastic surgeon all simultaneously because like he said, you have more time than the physical partner. You have you don't have to go in to the place if you don't want to. You don't have to, then you're not you're not your your speed is not impeded uh, as far as growth because you don't have to invest any money. Everybody that you get is in the terms uh, of the agreement. They're going to have to agree to allowing you to leverage their budget since you're going to be enhancing the valuation and, and the profits of their businesses, whether they're trying to sell or stay in business. They're they're um. Their duty, their responsibility is to fund whatever you're going to do to help you guys grow together. So if, if you tell them that they need to go and get a, um, a business loan for something for the business, then according to the agreement, they should agree. Right. Like, remember, they don't have to. But those that actually sign it, they, they are supposed to not breach the country. Right. Just like you win. Right. So the good thing about it, guys, is you can make a lot of money with this. You, you're going to plug in a 10 monetization methods or as many as your partners will allow you to plug in. And within a few months, everything could change for you. And go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I want people to really understand uh, how much money they can make and how quickly they can make it. So on the physical side, you have to sell, you know, you have to go through the process. On the digital side, let's just look. So, so first, I want people to understand that the digital is worth more than the physical. Like Amazon is worth more than than Walmart, and and value is equal to your free cash flow, how much cash you have coming in. And remember, we're going to keep the digital and the physical side separate. So, how much cash you coming in, and that is multiplied by your the annual cash, free cash flow, multiplied by the multiple of the company. Normally, brick and mortars have a multiple of two. Digital have a multiple of anywhere from three point five all the way up into unlimited. Right? Right. 
Yeah, and right. so let's just say that you're, you're digital. We're going to leave it at three, which means that for every dollar you bring in, it's really worth $3 you can sell. So let's just say after a couple of months, we plugged in a few monetizations and we were able to make $2,500 on the digital side after three months. Simple, easy, straightforward thing to do. $2,500. That digital side is now worth twenty five hundred multiplied by twelve, which is basically thirty thousand dollars multiplied by three, the multiple. So now that thing is worth ninety thousand dollars. In three months, you can sell your portion of it for forty five and be out of it. Or, or you could take that three thousand dollars and do a little quick math and take a hundred thousand dollars from someone and just give them the passive income of twenty five hundred dollars per month. Because oh. they're getting 33% on their money every single month. And that's, that's how, what, I'm sorry to interrupt. That's how the wealthy do it, guys. Uh, some people want to buy uh, passive income. Others want to, like, jump ahead in the race. Because a lot of y'all watching might say, dang, if I'm getting, what do you say, $2,500 a month passively, should I probably just, just keep that. And that's why we said at the beginning, you can do the buy and hold type situation with it. Yeah, if you're just looking for just passive income, cool. But if you're, in, um, uh, you know, it's speed to wealth. If you're trying to jump ahead in the game, okay, fine. How about I sell my passive income for a large chunk? Some people want the large chunks and some people want the, the, the smaller passive income. Like uh, his website, his, his business is on Flippa.com that uh, where the website is ranking and Google has been around for a while and it might be making around $500 a month in AdSense mm -hmm. and affiliate marketing. They're not selling it for $500. They're going right. to sell it for a huge chunk. You're like, why would somebody pay $10,000 or however much for something that's only making 500 a minute. Well, one of the reasons that people want to pass a big income is for piece of money. Like, even though they're coming out of that $10,000 check, they only got to come out of that once. The $500 every month is eventually going to uh, give them everything and they pay it back and then some in the future. So that's 500 that they'll never have to worry about it. You know, Lord will never have to worry about again coming in every month, taking care of them. So that's that's another dang on, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? A tip for y'all that's getting y'all income taxes coming up. You might want to buy some passive income. Why? So that you're not waiting for the income taxes again next year. So that's that you right. have something consistent coming in. So let's say your income taxes is five to seven grand. There's things that you can buy digital, you know, probably not no offline stuff for real with five or seven thousand. Well, actually, it's vending machines and ATM machines. So technically, yeah. Um, but but like you can go on sites like Flipper and it's, it's sites that, you know, that are making two, three, four hundred dollars a month that you might be able to go ahead and pay that, pay with your income tax. You're like, man, but I want to get some shoes. Stop being a baby. Quit being stupid, okay? I would, if I got income taxes and I was in y'all's situation and I knew about Flipper, dude, you know how many years I was getting income taxes that I didn't know about this stuff? And it come and it go. You're excited for two days and then it's gone. You gave it right back to the man. And now you broke again and week to week paychecks and stuff like that, waiting for the next time the government will give their babies something, right? <laughs> Take that income taxes, guys, and buy a business. Or take the income taxes, guys, and fund your growth with agency to partner. Do whatever you need to do to get out of the rat race. And when I say rat race, I'm not just talking about nine to five. I'm talking about feast or famine. It's the same thing. It's literally right. one and the same. If you are an agency owner right now watching this or anybody that's even watching this and one month you're doing good and the next month you're not. And it's not effortless where you're making sales or getting money. Then you need I'm not even going to say should you need to buy something that's going to create passive income streams. And that is exactly what agency to partner will do, whether you decide to exit with a partner or whether you decide to buy and hold the income that's coming with the digital twin, whatever you decide to do with it is going to be consistent. Once you have the 10 monetization, that's the power. That's where the power comes in. First is the partnership. And then is the 10 monetization methods. Technically, it's just you doing two things. Get the partner. Or if you're an agency owner, then you you convert the client to a partner. Just one as one step, and then plug in as many monetizations that we show you on the inside as possible, as they'll allow. Right? Like that's 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 it, and the rest will take care of itself. If they need more marketing, remember you're going after businesses that are already doing good in agency to partner. So a lot of the time, when you once you start plugging in, like one by one, the monetization methods, you'll start seeing like, yo, I haven't even did my part yet. You'll be like, yo, I haven't even. Ran no ads for them yet. I haven't even ranked anything new. Well, once you plug in the AdSense, they don't know they don't have AdSense on these local websites. So you plug in the AdSense in a couple of days, you'll be able to log into your AdSense uh, dashboard and see, dang, I done made you know, I didn't even know they were getting that much traffic. I done made 15, 20 bucks just in a couple of days off AdSense. That ain't a lot, right? Okay, so now a couple of days or a week pass by, they got their POS system in the mail. Now they got their new credit card reader and everything. Uh, now they got their their little payment button on their site switched out. Okay, so now you, you got the passive income coming from the traffic that they was already getting before you even increase the traffic with the AdSense. So now every time a customer in person swipes the credit card, you get a, present, a percentage of the transaction fee. 
Oh my God, what? You haven't even started marketing yet. When somebody goes to their website, those same people that's visiting the site that got you the AdSense money, right? When they go to the website, they opt in. Now you got their email address to upsell them other stuff. You haven't even started marketing anything yet. And look at you, you're making money, right? So when we tell you guys, just do whatever you have to, to get a partner and then plug in the 10 monetization methods. What, what I just said was just a few things that you're going to do. Right. And even just those few things. So let's say that you went after five, 10 different business owners that are already ranking everywhere on Google. They're already running paid ads. And you just you just have something unique that you're going to offer them to where they're like, OK, I'm already making money, but I definitely want to be able to participate in what this person just offered me right here. OK, that's enough for you to be. All right. Well, I'm about to plug in this and you just plug in the, the least painless option from the uh, the 10 monetization methods. And because they're getting so much traffic. So if you just got if you got. OK, I say one of the least painless ones would be what the AdSense, right? AdSense. Yeah. OK, so. I want y'all to picture this. I know a lot of you guys watching this probably don't know nothing about SEO or marketing. If you're an agency owner, then you're going to see the power and what the hell I'm talking about right now. Me and Curtis, we did the math. So we know that you can get to an extra 200K per month, even with just one partner. The more monetization methods you plug in, the more realistic that is. Every partner isn't going to allow you to plug in all 10, obviously. All right. But the more you plug in. OK, so let's just say you do the worst. You can only get people to agree to let you plug in one. The AdSense. OK. And this is not even realistic because you're going to be able to plug it for way more than one. But I just want y'all to see. So let's say you just went around and you went to a niche that got a lot of local search volume, but not that much competition. We'll say uh, uh, um, garage door installer or, or, or um, uh, pressure washers and stuff like that. Right. So let's say that each of those partners, that the, the, the main keyword gets a combined three to four thousand uh, monthly searches. They're already ranking at the top multiple times. So now. Three to four thousand people will be visiting their sites per month and you have four or five partners. Mm -hmm. Once you plug in an AdSense on that, like think about this, guys. If you go on YouTube right now and look up uh, AdSense money, just Google AdSense money. It's a legion, mainly people from like India and different countries that know you know about this. But it's a legion of marketers that that's all they do. They rank assets on Google. They get high traffic volume and they make money from ads. That's that's it. So now this will allow you to jump ahead in the race because your partners are already ranking, already getting all this traffic. So you don't even have to rank anything for real, for real. You're just going to go and place your AdSense on the thank you page with their permission using the scripts that we give you, right? Like, right. And whenever somebody opts in, you're not just getting their email, but once they land on that thank you page, this ad is just going to be clicked and you start making money instantaneously. So for those of you who are wondering, if I, if I go ahead and get into this agency to partner program, will I start making money? Plug in the monetization methods. Yo, I watched the video and then I'm gonna let you talk, Curtis. I know I'll be rambling, right? It's early in the morning. This is when I got the most energy. <laughs> I watched the video and it was a dude talking about how he's not coming out with any more coaching. And he made a point. He was like, dog, they blame me for everything. But when I went to go check their work, they didn't do it. He said, I'll never create another coaching program. They, they didn't do anything. They bought it, but they didn't do it. And he was just looking shocked. And I was like, it's just, I know. I know this is why people don't want to coach. We want to give back and we want to, we want to help people and, and, and teach them and stuff. But y'all, just because we're teaching y'all, doesn't think don't mean it's gonna magically happen. We can make it simple, like ABC simple. But you're you're on the other side of this dog on the other side of the screen. Right. You still have to plug in the ten monetization. Man, it's very simple. Only a few steps, but nothing will happen if you don't do anything. Let me tell a lot of all you adults out there that should have common sense. No matter who's program, this might offend and throw some of y'all off. But then it really means you need to like strengthen yourself and stop being sensitive. But let me just show you something. You can't go to the internet and complain about gurus if you don't even do what they tell you to do. If what they were talking about didn't work, then they wouldn't even have the little testimonials that they have. Maybe it's just a tiny percent of people that actually do it. You buy it and you think the investment is what's going to magically make something happen. No, it takes action in order to cash in. All right. If you wanted to just invest and make money, then you should have bought an investment. You should have like made an investment in an asset that's already set up or paid for a done for you service. You can't exactly. buy into a coaching program and then just think, yeah, man, I spent money on this. This is going to work. It better work. And then you're still chilling and going to the movies or to the mall or to the dang old club or watching Netflix. And the only time you get hype and, and, and uh, what do you call it? Motivated is when you get back on YouTube and watch a new video. <laughs> do something. Okay, so I don't want to turn this into a preaching situation, but Guys, you can add an extra 200K. I, I didn't say it was going to be easy or effortless, but it is simple. And on top of that, all you must do is get the partner to agree to you plugging in monetization. If you guys have took your time to prospect, create lists, scrape lists, cold call, and do all of that and outreach stuff, then get on numerous consultations to get your current clients. You have way more than enough strength and courage to just plug in some monetization methods. Mm -hmm. Plug it in, dog. 
Anyway, you go ahead, Curtis, because I go. You know, the, the monetization methods that we're talking about, you talked about AdSense, and that, that was one of the quickest ones, quickest, fast, like yesterday. And it, even if you just plugged in AdSense, that next month, you could actually sell that for passive income. I mean, you need you need $50,000 realistically. That's probably about $1,500. So if you got five partners and each of them were producing for you, uh, you know, $300 of AdSense, maybe it took a couple of months, but right. it, you, you, you could put that in your pocket almost instantly. And so- exactly. the, the things that we are talking about, it can be, so, so you got instant from AdSense, literally instant. I mean, all you have to do, I mean, they have a email list. They have SMS right there. Like that can be instant. In fact, that can be faster than AdSense. Quite honestly, yes. if you think about it, AdSense, somebody has to go on the computer and put together. A, I got an agreement at one o'clock at two o'clock. I can press a button where an email goes out to everybody making an offer and SMS goes out to everybody making an offer. Oh, okay. And we know that a portion of those people are going to buy. It doesn't matter what you're selling. Exactly. We, we know that two to 5% of those people are going to buy. It doesn't matter. And that's weekly, every week, somebody different is going to buy. And so okay. those two methodologies, like literally within a week, you have income oh. and, and that's what it's really all about. Yeah, exactly. So the first portion of this was directed at uh, just typical person just watching this that probably was searching for how to buy a business with no money down or, or how to just buy a business. The second portion is going to be for the agency owners um, that we suggest you guys convert your clients into partners. A lot of y'all are waking up like I know the, I know the grind. I got an agency. Right. So <laughs> a lot of y'all are waking up like around now. Like I get up before most of y'all, but around now, y'all are waking up and then you're gathering your list. Your list that you're going to cold email, you're checking inside your instantly uh, accounts or your Gmail or whatever you use, Lim list for, for cold email. You're checking uh, uh, your responses from doing your 200 freaking uh, cold DMs on Instagram yesterday. You're doing all of that stuff just for somebody to pay you $1,500 once a month. They're only going to pay you once a month. Curtis, let's use a little bit of grown people common sense, please. Using the skill of a marketer, enhancing the revenue for the company. How many days a month? Are they going to feel the benefits of the value that you bring? Every, 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 day, every day, every day, every day, every day. So how come mm -hmm. you guys being the force of power that you are, you've mastered the skill of advertising. Mm -hmm. You mastered the skill of closing sales. Some of you, you're about to plug yourself into their company and change their freaking lives. And the best they can do for you is give you a, a 60 second testimonial. testimonial. Okay. Then I go. All right. I don't know why it does that. Y'all maybe it's an internet situation. I am out here in, mm -hmm. The yep. middle of nowhere in Panama. Um, okay, so they're paying you five, ten thousand dollars a month. You get them results that they're gonna keep for life if you did it right. I mean that, that that don't make no sense. So they get to experience peace, peace of mind, all of that. But you gotta get back to work as soon as they leave. How come y'all ain't partners where when the business grows, you get to say, Okay, man, I'm happy they got the, the three car sales today. Like, how come you can't be happy that they got the three car sales today? Other than the fact that you're going to be able to throw it in the testimonial for the next headache client that you're going to get. Right. I want to be happy for their sales, not just for them, which a big portion of that is, yes, for them. I want to be of good service. But also, I needed to change my children's life, my wife's life, my life. Mm -hmm. Right. And if I want to be partakers in their life, I owe my children and my wife my time more than this business owner you guys don't even want to start family a lot of you right now because you're trying to figure out how to get your expenses in order first and you're creating this agency i see these interviews and they in the agency five seven years before things get right uh, every month they got one to three clients one or two of them leave and then they're back trying to get another tool to get their income back to ten thousand dollars a month comfortably so they're thinking in area like dog this just this ain't right so i can't i can't bring no kid into this world right so now you you're 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 abandoning your legacies and all of that extra stuff due to financial reasons when life isn't even all about freaking money and finances. So my point is, if there's a, a path or an avenue that you can go down where it can get your finances in order faster to where it's not even in your head, you can start focusing on more important stuff like getting your life together, if not for your family, at least for yourself. You hear me? Like experiencing the money that you're making. Like, dog, you hear me? Like, what the heck is the point of making money if you're still just going through hell? If you still like, <laughs> you can't live how you want to. Right. You hear me? Like people talk stuff about digital marketers and then stuff uh, and affiliate marketers. Okay, I, I'll say affiliate marketers. <laughs> let's say let's say affiliate marketers. Agency owners will talk stuff about affiliate marketers and other entrepreneurs too. Oh, they don't want to build a name for themselves. They don't want to build a brand and all of that. Well, check this out. At least they got the most important part. At least they got their time back. At least they got their time back. 
while you sit and building a, and we love building a brand. Me and Curtis always talk about positioning and stuff. So there's nothing wrong with building a brand. What's wrong is that you think that's the most important part of life, not even business. You need your time, dog. You're going to look up and be 40. Then you're going to look up and be 60. Then you're going to look up and be buried. <laughs> like, oh, how did I get in this hole? Right? <laughs> that's how fast it moves. Dude, I just turned 37. In case y'all ain't noticed how I talk, I still be thinking I'm 25. How did that happen? Because I sat at the computer for a large chunk of that time. And your time just goes, you don't even realize it. So while you're sitting in prospecting and cold calling and doing all of this, you're setting yourself up. Why don't you get a few? If you already have clients, convert them to partners now immediately. If you don't already have clients, get a few using the methods that we teach partners and just plug them in. If you got two or three, that's it. And guess what? Guess what? The, the biggest punchline of agency to partner, guys, is that no churn and boom. There's no fallout. You can stop talking to them for five years and you're still going to be making money from them. That's right. From the, 10, from the 10 monetization methods you plugged in. You own the digital assets. You own the digital twin. So no matter where they go in life, these three, four, whatever partners you decide to go, you can be minus whatever. <laughs> Guess what? I need y'all to focus and look at something right now. Excuse me. The next three partners that you get could be the last partners you get. You, you hearing this, Curtis? Like, I don't think they get that. Like, when we get clients right now, we already know. That's why this agency model is, is destroyed. Because when we get, like, subconsciously, when you get a client right now, we already know. Even when you listen to the podcast, they say we had to factor in churn rate. You know, we know that every month a couple clients fall off. So, you know, you're constantly thinking about that in the back. You're like, who wants to, why I want a business like that? Why do I want a business where I got to factor in churn rate? Right. It's a destroyed, defective model that needs a recall. OK, so with agency to partner, whatever new partners or current clients that you have, once you plug in these 10 monetization methods, they can't cut the umbilical card from you. Not from the money. They don't have to talk to you no more, but they can't cut the umbilical card from your passive income streams. And they can't tell you not to sell your side of the digital twin. Right. This is the true definition of financial freedom and the bridge from financial freedom to to uh, personal happiness is, is not that long of a freaking bridge. Because the financial freedom allows you more time to build up the personal part of your life. You understand? Like, I don't understand why people like I'm so pissed. I had clients for so long. And it's like you're lost in the wilderness and you just keep going in, in circles. You got to You keep passing up a freaking compass. You're not following the stars and you just keep on. You know what? I'm going to find my own way out. God keep throwing compasses at your head. You're like, what's that? And you just ignore them. And what I mean by that is you just stand in a traditional agency model, paying attention to these people that got agencies and then they end up selling the agencies. And you never think to wonder why they sold it because it's hell. It's hell. So stop watching Gazi because you'll notice that he ain't really paying attention to his agency no more. He built, of course, got rich off that. Then he built software and became uber rich off of that. He's not the agency dude no more. Joel Kaplan doing the exact same dang on thing. <laughs> so all these dudes that you guys hold in such high esteem and worship, they're not even trying to be agencies no more. So this is why we created agency to partner, because those that wake up out this new, this other matrix, you, you woke up out of the nine to five matrix. Cool. But then you jumped into another slavery matrix. So those that wake up out of this agency matrix, which might be a little a lot more detrimental to your finances and your health. Those that wake up realize, dang, maybe I should start doing something else. And they, a lot of them go from agency owner to affiliate SEO. Like, you know what? Why don't I just rank these sites for my dang on self? I'm the one that got the skill. And then now a lot of them go from agency owner to a growth partner. So they're starting to wake up. They still got the agency model, but they're st starting to realize, okay, I get the retainer, but I also want like a commission from it too. So they got what we call the hybrid method, right? But it's still not all the way there. You want to plug in the 10 monetization methods. Exactly. You can pretty much be an owner without investing. Curtis, go ahead and let them know. Man. Well, I, I think we should wrap up David by basically saying that they, they you can control the company because he who controls the leads and the the pipeline of the, the flow of money controls the company literally and so right. by plugging in these methodologies you can have especially leveraging their their the assets that they already have you really control what's going on inside the company and right. and you know and so you know through that methodology if, if you you're taken out even if like you said they don't you don't talk to them for five years you're the, the things that you put in place, the structure that you put in place, the infrastructure and the ecosystem still is rolling and you're still getting paid or someone's still getting paid through that process. And I think that's, that is uh, like the point that you've been trying to drive home, you know, for the last uh, few minutes or so. Um, yes, sir. So yes, sir. The, so. the, the individuals, let me just say this, the individuals who are looking to buy a company, the benefits of this, I was just thinking about this a, a moment ago, you know, you don't even have, you could go and talk, again, talk to those owners and basically say, while we're waiting, why don't we do this? And everybody can benefit from that. Mm -hmm. The agency owners who are who are mostly, you know, there there there's some 
there's some uh, um, mature agency owners who have been around for a long time. I mean, I, I was selling um, little websites uh, that that we would monetize for fifty dollars a month, and then turn around and sell them for you know a thousand dollars. I was doing that seventeen years ago. So mm. some of us have been around doing that stuff. But for the most part, we're talking about the the next wave and the second wave generations, and you got to understand where we're going. Um, we are going in from from where we are now to an AI aspect, and and that you, you're using AI, and you don't really know what you're using. I know that it's artificial intelligence, and, but what you're really using is leverage. AI is leverage. Now you need to use leverage across the board, and you doing the work and the fulfillment and churning, uh, uh, you know, trying to get customers every day. I seen you know, I seen the other day. I got 436 appointments. Okay, that's a lot of appointments. And if and, and if you got 10 customers, and if you got 10 of them a month, that's a lot of fulfillment. That's a lot of people who paying you. And they're telling you what to do. You know, at least at your nine to five, you only have one person that was telling you what to do. Now you got 10 people telling you what to do. And, you know, and still you got to churn and fulfill. So my my point is that this model really, really works for those who are trying to buy a business. And it really, really works for those who are, um, you know, running an agency one way or the other. It's a it's a great model that allows people for leverage and you can have your time back. For sure. Couldn't have said it better, man. Okay, um, so before we ride out, let me show you all something, because. It would be a disservice to you if we didn't show you how we upgraded things. All right. Hold on. Okay. Let me go ahead and switch the screen around. All right. It's not switched around yet. Okay. All right. So this is the profit positioning. uh, Not the profit positioning agency. This is the agency to partner program. All right. So it says add an extra 200K per month to your agency without adding new clients, plus enjoy equity benefits without investing in them. What I want to say about that, guys, is even if you're just a person on here uh, buying, trying to buy a business, I want you guys to name to me one of those small businesses that you like just off the top of your head know will bring you 200K a month. Right. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's not too many of them, right? It's not too many of them. So what we said before is the digital aspect of things, being that you're going to create a digital twin, it gives you more leg room to be creative. You're not just going to be taking what they already have, guys, but we're going to be adding new, introducing new income streams to these companies. Mm-hmm. So they- there's no income streams that they don't currently have that are completely digital, and we teach you this inside the agency the partner program. And they're going to fund, they're going to like yo the partner is going to benefit just as much as you. So it's going to be as it should be. They always tell you like I've been getting client, clients for a long time, and they always tell you when they don't want to pay you a lot of money up front, and they're trying to get you to take commissions. They always say what um, you know um, if, if you grow. I mean, when I grow, you grow. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not equal. It's not even. It's not even. You're doing all the freaking like stuff to make them grow. And all they got to do is handle the fulfillment. But technically, they're not even handling the fulfillment. Are they the ones flipping the burgers? No. Nope. So nope. they need to sit back and they're leveraging you. So you need to like benefit from this. So what we did, because there was a lot of people crying and complaining when we did the video talking about how we was about to uh, switch the price from 497 to 5K. So uh, uh, from Curtis's recommendation, we have two new options. You guys have no excuses, especially those of you who already came here with a budget to try to go ahead and buy a business. It would be, you, now you see why we named the title, <laughs> where we named it. It wouldn't be too, anyway, we'll just say we have two options. So access to 5K membership now, only 1K down. So that's not too big of a difference from the 497 that you guys had. And then we break it up into chunks, which is 675 per month across six months. So it'll be paid off. And by then, remember, as you guys saw and heard when we was talking, you guys, you start plugging in the 10 monetization methods immediately. This, you'll be able to leverage those earnings. So just go ahead and pay that off like quickly within, you know, a short period of time. Then we have the other option, which is if you wanted the monthly payment to be lower, then you just put 2K down and it's five, 500 a month for six months, guys. So we made it affordable. We made it affordable uh, uh, for everybody. Right. You understand? So in closing, um, I will say you're going to have access to the 10 monetization methods. You're going to have access to all of our automation and outreach tools to be able to get your partners if you don't have any. You're going to have instant access to the new private community that we have, right? Like we get on coaching calls together and do all of this extra stuff, right? Uh, you're going to be able to offer your partners the, and you'll be able to make like thousands of dollars uh, once they agree to this little simple offer of us building them an in-house bank where they'll control the money of their employees and they'll control the money of their customers. Nobody else is doing this, right? You came here for just one topic and you got way more than you bargained for. And then Absolutely. you're going to make money when we build their affiliate army as well. Okay. So on top of that, you get the instant access to all of our previous paid uh, courses for anti-job that has something to do with marketing and sales. So $1,000 down or $2,000 down when we were selling all of those courses for over 200 K, I mean, not 200 K for over 2 K guys, this is your chance. 
this is your chance. We took it from 5K. At first, it was a 5K flat. You came to the site, it said 4,997 uh, bucks. Now it's only 1K down or 2K down. Once you just get straight in and get straight to plugging in the monetization methods, you start making that back. Okay? All right. So, anything else you want to say, Curtis, before we ride out into the sunset? No, I think we're good. I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Guys, go ahead and take action because in order to cash in, that's what you got to put in.